Hello, I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. So today uh, in this video we will be uh, continuing uh, uh, this is a continuation of my earlier video of creating a window uh, Azure virtual machine. Uh, in this video uh, we will be uh, uh, will try to configure this uh, virtual machine we'll try to change the size uh, we'll try to connect the machine we'll try to add some uh, extra disk to this machine uh, so let's start up so uh, kindly watch that video first so that uh, it would be a best thing to continue with from this video so let's go to the created virtual machine and now let's connect this video first as you can see it will it's with the uh, size basic ao let's connect to this uh click on connect and it will you will get an rdb file let's click on open connect so you need to provide the user and password uh, which you provided during uh, creating uh, this vm so okay for certificate yes so now it's connecting our azure vm that is of windows server 28 to 2008 r2 you can see the ip you can see the server name over here so it's getting it's preparing the desktop as if uh, you log into your machine for the first time new machine for the first time so once the machine gets started up you can uh, install uh, the workloads you need to work upon it's as if you have your own machine and it is your own machine of course <laughs> So we have chosen uh, while creating uh, this uh, VM. It was Windows Server 20, 2008 R2 with AO size. So it's getting connected up. It will take few minutes for the first time. Great. So now we are into our machine, our VM machine. You can just go to the server manager or install the IS. Let's click on computer you can you can see the details it's to storage C drive D drive cool isn't it okay now let's close this okay and let's change the size of this machine let's click over here so uh before that you can if you see you can see this uh, cpu usage the network usage this was during the uh, spinning up uh virtual machine the operations which was taken care at that time you can very well uh track this state track this uh, usage so now click on size and let's go to so we have selected AO basic right basic AO so let's uh, try to AO standard and click on select as you can see it will start it has started one 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 let's see it will take few minutes while it's getting resized you can see it has again disabled this option of start restart and anyways i'm out of the window i out of the vm if at all i would have been into vm that's uh, disconnected uh, me from that particular session while this resizing of virtual machine is taking place Great, so uh, finally it has completed and it took 
two minutes yes that's fine and you can see the change is now reflecting over here it is standard a0 great so now uh, before getting again connected to the machine let's uh, uh, add an extra disk a data disk to our machine so for doing that you need to just click our disk and as you can see over here so once you click on disk you will get this option click on add data disk uh, let's change this host caching to read and write and over here let's create a disk so once you click on this uh, create disk you will get this uh, a section to enter some details so let's see this uh, for VM demo let's select the same resource group it has already been selected you can create a new or you can choose the existing one account type would be again standard with Alaris uh, let's just show source type be none or you can here you can give the a size you want to add as you can see the standard disk cost increased based on the size of the disk premium disk cost and performance increased based on the size of the disk so let's go with an um, default one 1023 GB let's click on create so it will validate the entries uh, details we provided and then once it gets validated we just need to click on save okay so now it validated and it came to this page again so you can see the name the size uh, the details let's click on save great so it has done it took few seconds okay so now or let's go through this resource group under VM you can see this additional disk now being added uh, as a part of uh, the resources that is this disk for VM demo which we just now added okay uh, let's go to our VM let's connect to our VM and see this extra disk getting reflected over there again click on connect open the RDP click on connect enter the details or uh, the password changing the size doesn't change your login details certificate yes it's getting connected to our machine great so now uh, we need to add that extra disk so click on start and uh, server manager it's quite slow inside the vm so it has opened up the server manager let's go to storage disk management uh, so it says that uh, there is a new disk named disk 2 let's configure it click on ok just follow the instructions just follow the window pop-up windows coming in from windows Okay, so now you can see this two are the existing one and this is the new one just right click over here and click on new simple volume click on next 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 I'm just going in with all the default values finish so now it has added this dix2 let's go to start and my computer this
still formatting great so now it shows as e drive again uh, open up the computer great so now you can see the extra disk being added over here as an e drive simple so in the same manner you can perform all the regular uh, operations uh, uh, you we do with our machine with our windows server machine uh, installing the is hosting the things anything anything with respect to machines which we do uh, which we do usually we can perform with this machine also so we connected to this machine we changed the size which we added the disk and we did this all in uh, i believe in less than 10 minutes so hope you are enjoyed this video i will recommend to create your own uh, create your the vm with your subscription uh, do keep a watch on if at all you are using a free, free subscription or any subscription do keep a watch on uh, the pricing if you are in the learning phase uh, about the storage and all let's let's go to quickly go to the resource group vm and the storage which we have uh, it has created uh that is this one so let's see uh if we go to files uh, i believe it's in blob okay you can see it over here it has uh, uh, the storage account which we created the diagnostics are being uh, saved or stored into this storage the virtual network is also created we can switch this virtual network from one uh, now for my subscription there was this was the first one you can switch your machines uh, between this networks if at all uh, you have some different uh, via vmv net being created and with your subscription or into your organization account so hope you have learned uh, hope you have learned something new hope you have enjoyed this video again i would like to tell that if you are uh, preparing for 70532 examinations that is for developing azure solutions uh, microsoft certification this video will be a useful uh, resource for you as this is a part of uh, a syllabus for creating your vm in an arm model that is azure resource uh, uh, model resource manager models so the creation uh, the configuring everything is a part of your syllabus to go through this video uh, take this video as a resource of for your uh, 70532 exams and do follow the steps to try to make it on your own so you will be coming up with some new things microsoft is adding things day by day uh, new features are added uh, every second something new things could be seen uh, we cannot say anything just just uh, just we need to get into these things to get the uh, best out of it so kindly subscribe to my channel like this video and uh, happy azure coding bye bye